guys welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna make a really requested video for you and it's the black French manicure with some glitters on the tips and this is what I used for this video these are the glitters by the way um, these are from China I don't really remember which website I ordered these from but you can find these everywhere pretty much so yeah you can find this at either eBay Aliexpress or I don't know where <laughs> just check on the internet you'll find them um, for the black color I use this color gel this one is from Aliexpress and if you want I can link the seller in the description box um, this is the one face rose clear gel that I use as a base gel this is the makeup dusty pink antique rose skin gel color I really love this one I'm gonna use this one for the nail bed and this is the top gel that I use. This is the high gloss sealing gel, premium high gloss sealing gel. I really like this one, but the only downside of this gel is that you need to use two layers, otherwise it just won't cure properly or it won't be fully shiny everywhere. It's really weird, but two layers and it will be really nice. Um, but yeah, these are the glitters. I really like these ones. They're so beautiful. Um, Especially this one is a holographic kind of nail glitter. So beautiful! If you'd like to see how I did the nails, then just keep watching. So the first thing I want to do is prepare the nail bed a little bit. So I'm just removing all the dead skin and stuff that is all in the nail plate by filing it softly around the cuticle area and a little bit on top of the nail plate and then just buffing them. And then I just do the same thing to all of the nails and clean them up with a nail brush. Now on to the nail tips. So these are the tips that I'm going to use. They're transparent so that the color will show through the nail and it will be super pretty. Um, but yeah, pick the right size and then apply some glue and stick the tip onto the natural nail. You want the tip to be a little bit bigger or perfectly sized to the natural nail. You really don't want it to be smaller. But yeah, when you find the right size, just glue them on and then cut them to the desired length. And when I've cut them, I'm just going to file the sidewall so that they match the natural natural nail perfectly. We want them to look like one nail. That way it will be looking really nice and even. So when the side walls are done, I'm just gonna go over at the tip area where I glue the tip onto the natural nail and I'm just gonna file that down a little bit so that it's lower, um, so that it's nice and even to the natural nail. So when I was satisfied with the nail tip, I just buffed the nail all throughout the nail and this is what it looked like. I did the same thing to all of the nails and then just cleansed them up a little bit with the nail brush and some alcohol to really remove all dust and oils from the nails. We want them to be super clean before applying any product on. And when they're nice and clean, I'm just applying some nail primer. This is the air drying primer by NZ and I really like this primer. It makes a huge difference and you don't need to cure it under the UV lamp. So for base layer, I'm gonna use my One Face Rose Clear Gel and I'm gonna apply two thin layers to make a nice base and so that the nails will be super strong and last a long time. And without a base layer, the nails might lift or they won't last as long. So you really wanna make a base layer. And now we can go on to the design. So I'm going to apply this pink color to the nail bed and I'm trying to make the smile line a bit thicker with gel because we're going to file that into a perfect smile line. I will not be capping the pink nail with some clear gel so we want that stress area to be a little bit thicker so that the nails are super strong and nice so that they don't snap off. So that's also why we're making this really thick. Um, but yeah, this is the second layer. As you can see I'm really focusing on the smile line area because we really really want that to be thicker than the rest of the nail. And then I'm just kind of capping everything with a little bit more of this color and wiping that excess 
uh, layer off. So now I'm just filing the smile line until I'm satisfied with how it looks. This step is really easy, especially if you have put enough gel at the smile line so that it's a little bit thicker. Um, I really like this method because the smile line is so beautiful after doing this. You should really try this method out. I love it, but it takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. Now I'm just perfecting the shape of the nail bed. I want the smile line area to be super sharp and the cuticle area to be super thin. And then just file them together into a flush, nice and even shape. So after filing I just buff the nail and this is what it looks like. I'm really happy with the result. Um, as you can see the smile line is really nice and even. Um, but yeah, I did the same thing to all of the other nails and this is what they look like. Before applying any product we want to clean them up once again uh, with a nail brush and then a cleanser to remove all of the oils and stuff and then prime them once again because we will be applying more gel. But yeah, and then I'm going on to this black color that I bought from Aliexpress. Before using any color gel you want to stir in the pot to make the pigments all even throughout the gel. So I'm just applying the black color on the nail tip and I will apply two layers of this color to really make it super black. I want the color to be very intense and this application doesn't have to be super perfect because when we file the nail into a nice shape um, the extra color gel that is on the nail bed will actually be filed away. Um, but yeah, as you can see the black color is pretty see-through so I'm just adding a little bit more and then curing this under the UV lamp for four minutes. So on to the second layer, I'm just applying a little bit more and this layer is actually a little bit thinner and I'm curing that layer for two minutes. Now moving on to the glitters. So here are the glitters, I'm applying one thin layer of One Face Rose Clear Gel. And these are the glitters that I'm gonna put on. This is a pink one, purpley one, and I love these glitters, they're so pretty. And I think purple glitters go really well with black, so this is gonna look really nice. Because I have applied the One Face Rose Clear Gel, I can just uh, take another nail brush and pat the glitters on where I want them to be. And as you can see, I'm just applying the amount of glitter that I like. And before curing anything, I will clean up my brush and then perfect the glitter pieces so that they are exactly what I want them to be. I really do the same thing to all of the nails but with different nail glitters. This is a little bit of finer glitter but I do the exact same thing. I'm just applying the amount of glitter that I want and then cleaning up the brush and moving around the glitter until I'm satisfied with how it looks. I 
After curing that layer, I'm just gonna cap the glitter with a thick layer of this One Face Rose Clear Gel. And this is gonna be our last gel layer. After this layer, I'm just gonna clean up the nails and file them into a nice shape. I start off by filing the sidewalls and the length of the nail and when I'm happy with the shape I go on to my nail drill and I file the shape of the whole nail tip. And as you can see I'm not focusing anything on the nail bed. Maybe a little bit but mostly on the nail tip because I want it to be really nice and even. And when I'm done with all of the nails I just buff them, cleanse them, prime them <laughs> and then I go on to the top coat. So the top coat that I'm gonna use is the premium high gloss sealing gel and as you guys already know I'm applying two layers of this gel top coat because otherwise it's not gonna cure properly or be fully shiny so two layers will do. So this is the final product. I hope you guys like this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions then feel free to ask and if you'd like to see more of these videos then you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!